I'm Keith Lang. I'm the executive director for the Champlin Foundation. The mission, if you will, of the foundation is to impact the broadest segment of the population in the state of Rhode Island as possible. And I think an institution like Rhode Island Hospital does that. Actually, the initial gift was $50, which uh, in 1932 was real money. Rhode Island Hospital has the vision necessary to see where things are headed in healthcare that are going to really make the difference in the next 150 years. Today, after 13 years of being affiliated with Rhode Island Hospital, I'm still awestricken by the dedication physicians, nurses, administration, and staff invest in running this institution. Rhode Island Hospital has recruited some of the finest most caring, most dedicated physicians in the country with worldwide reputation. I think it really excited me and I think my family as well to launch into this very exciting field of neurosciences. Looking forward to the next 150 years for Rhode Island Hospital, I'm very excited about the hospital really taking um, a significant lead in the national landscape of the neurosciences field. It's wonderful to know that a nationally recognized hospital like Rhode Island Hospital is there for our more than 6,000 colleagues across the state. As a pillar of our community, I hope that Rhode Island Hospital will continue to be on the cutting edge of healthcare for the next 150 years. I think we've been such a strong supporter of Rhode Island Hospital because when you look at where it is today with respect to the types of physicians and support staff and the quality that it brings, I think you can speak to anyone and say it has not ever lost its passion to be great. The more that we have a local hospital that is on the cutting edge of world-class diagnostic medical solutions, if you will, then I think all of us are going to be much better off. And I think certainly our families will have a long and bright future. The Hafner for family has been supporting the hospital since the 1940s. My great-grandfather was a pioneer. He was an entrepreneur. And at that time, Rhode Island Hospital was one of the few institutions in the state that was providing statewide care and it piqued his interest. I think the hospital has endured for 150 years because it is hungry to always be at the top of its game. I wanted to get involved with Lifespan and Rhode Island Hospital because this institution is so vital to our community and its ability to thrive. We are now one of the leaders in the nation and in the world. Rhode Island Hospital is an anchor institution in the state of Rhode Island. We know that research goes on there, sometimes groundbreaking research, innovative delivery systems to reach all parts of the population, to serve the, uh, the healthcare needs and the evolving healthcare needs. Those are all areas that we're very proud to work with and support. Rhode Island Hospital was very important for the creation of Brown's Medical School. We're entering an era where healthcare is changing. It's changing rapidly. The reliance of the state on biomedicine as an engine for economic development is becoming more and more important. So, you know, I see these two institutions as being vital to the growth of the state and the welfare of Rhode Islanders. My ancestors were involved in the founding of the hospital. I think that the celebration of the 150th anniversary of the hospital is wonderful because it's proving you don't have to go out of state for medical care anymore. Rhode Island Hospital is the heart and soul of healthcare in Rhode Island. 57% of all free care is supplied by Rhode Island Hospital. Hopefully we are as worthy of the tradition and the heritage that was started by Thomas Ives 150 years ago.